All right, what we're going to work with here are trapezoids. Well, you might remember the tra what a trapezoid is. It is a figure, it's a four-sided figure, quadrilateral, that has one set of parallel sides. Okay? Here I've got that AD is parallel to the top, BC is my one set of parallel sides. Why that's important is because we know that with parallel sides and parallel lines, that the same side interiors add up to 180. They're supplementary. We're going to use that fact a lot here so we can get some angles. Any trapezoid, the two angles between the parallel sides, A and B, that are connected by the same side. So A and B, these are supplementary, they add up to 180. It works the same way here with C and D, these two. These will also add up to 180, but I don't have any measurements here, so that won't really help me. However, if I knew this angle, let's say that D was, I don't know, 70, then I would know that this angle C would be whatever 180 minus 70 is, or in this case, 110. Okay? But I know that these two angles should be supplementary. They should add up to 180. So let's actually do that. This is a lot like parallelograms. Since these are supplementary, I'm going to add them up. I should get 180. I don't know if you can see that, but angle B says 17 times x minus 40, and angle A is 3 times x plus 20. So let's actually set that up. 17x minus 40 plus angle A, which is 3x plus 20. should equal 180 because they're supplementary. And this we just have to solve. Okay, combine your like terms, solve for x. On the left side I see a whole bunch of x's and constants. I see 17x and 3x, and they're both positive. Well, 17 plus 3 is 20x. Excuse me, 17x plus 3x is 20x. We also see constants, negative 40 and positive 20. Well, negative 40 plus 20, that's negative 20. And then we bring down the equals and the 180 on the other side. There was nothing to combine on the right side, so we just bring it down. We need x alone, so just like we always solve, get rid of your constant if you can. Instead of subtracting 20, do the opposite. Add 20 here, and if we did it to the left side of the equal sign, we have to do it to the right side of the equal sign. Add 20 here. Here the 20s are going to cancel. I'm going to bring down the 20x. I'm going to bring down my equals. And 180 plus 20, that's 200. And we're going to solve this. Okay, my last steps: 20 times x equals 200. Well, I don't care about multiplying 20 times x. I want to know what 1x is. So to work backwards, instead of multiplying by 20, do the opposite. Divide by 20 on both sides. These 20s will cancel, leaving with x. 200 divided by 20 is 10. So we find out that x is 10. As per usual, make sure to plug it back into your problem. If x is 10, and this said 3x plus 20, that's 3 times x, which is 10. 3 times 10 is 30, 30 plus 20 is 50. So the measure of angle A is 50. Let's hop over here for angle B. Well, this is 17x minus 40. x is still 10, so this is 17 times 10, or 170. 170 minus 40 is 130. So we know that angle B is 130. Right? In these particular problems, there is no way to get angle C or angle D. Please don't tell me that angle C is 130, because it's not. Angle D is not 50. Angle D is also not 130. C is not 50. The right side of the trapezoid is not related to the left side of the trapezoid. Okay? They have nothing to do with each other. All right. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you need to know about isosceles trapezoids, you can watch my next video, and I'll have that posted. It should be in the sidebar.